Monster Energy Supercross Round 8, the return to Tampa for the first time since 1999. This is actually the headquarters of Fell Motorsports who runs this series, and they got to put on quite a show tonight, some great racing. Eli Tomac takes his fourth win in eight races, still down 65 points in the series, but it was an exciting one, battling with Marvin Muscan and Justin Hill, who was in contention to win in his first ever 450 Supercross race. This review is brought to you now by the good folks at Troy Lee Designs. Love it. And, yeah, we'll show some logos here. So good job by the book folks from TLD coming on board with our videos. Let's talk about this race. It was awesome. Eli Tomac got the whole shot. He was battling it out with Cooper Webb. Webb had the lead momentarily. Webb said that it was a little bit different. He hasn't been up front in a main event like that in a while. Said he did tighten up a little bit. Tomac had the lead, and honestly, once Tomac has it, it's usually his race to win or lose. But not this time. Marvin took it away, absolutely took it away from Eli Tomac, and the crowd was going nuts on that. And then Justin Hill passed Tomac for second and then started going after Muscan. And the crowd remembered that in the heat race, Hill actually caught, passed, and left Muscan to take the win there. So could he do that? Could he win the very first main event he was ever in on a 450 outside of that one time at Monster Cup where he was also really good? This is how impressive Hill was. He was pulling the trigger on a quad quad through a rhythm lane. The only other rider to do it all day and night long was Blake Baggett, and it ended for Baggett when he flipped into the Steve Mathis Memorial net when he didn't get the landing perfect on the quad. Hill was not only getting the quad down, but he was landing so perfectly he could still get to the inside of the bowl turn and nearly pass Muscan. And then when he was side by side with him in the sand, his front wheel touched Marvin's back wheel. Hill went down, and a little of the air was let out of the stadium there because I think people were really stoked to see the new kid mixing it up with the established race winners. Hill said lesson learned for him. He really likes riding with guys like Tomac and Marvin. He said they're just smart racers. It's not bonkers crazy like it is in the 250 class. And he actually put that on himself, lesson learned. Marvin's smart enough to not let you go underneath him and cut down a berm. So with Marvin in the lead, maybe the air was out of the building. Maybe he was gonna finally get all the way back into victory lane, which he hasn't done since Anaheim won. But then Tomac put it together, started clicking off better laps, using a quad through the middle of that rhythm lane, not the quad quad. He said he wasn't touching that, what Hill was doing. So he used that to close in on Marvin. Marvin was only tripling through the center of that lane. They battled hard for a couple of laps through the sand, through an S-turn before the finish line jump. It was great racing, and the fans here at Tampa absolutely loved it. Tomac was able to get by and goes on to take that victory. And meanwhile, quietly, this is unbelievable. The story is the same every week. Jason Anderson, another solid performance, this time third, started sixth, worked his way forward. And for the third week in a row, a rider second at the points ends up leaving the event with an injury. First, Ken Roxon two weeks ago, Justin Barsha last week, and Cole Seeley took a huge digger in the heat race. I'm thinking it's either a leg or perhaps hip injury for him. It is an absolute hex on anyone who is second in the series to Anderson right now. So Anderson's points lead has grown once again, even though he only finished third. Muscan is actually up to second in points now, despite missing round two with that shoulder injury. We'll see in Atlanta, that's a triple crown race. That's gonna be pretty exciting. We'll see what happens there. Again, thanks to the folks at Troy Lee Designs for backing our video this week. We'll see you in the new Mercedes-Benz Stadium in seven days.